Okay, we might uh, well uh, get started. So, good morning, Kovanka George. Uh, thank you for coming to the uh, training. Uh, it's Friday, and so, so time goes by so fast. Uh, TGIF. Uh, today um, we're gonna go through so, so the, uh, the well. As you know, that the uh, Home Office has uh, decided to sunset the Outlook Gmail. I mean, not Gmail. Outlook email uh, account uh, for everybody uh, um, uh, starting April um, the 30th. In other words, after April 30th, you won't be uh, able to uh, send out the, uh, the, your e emails uh, through the Outlook. But nevertheless, uh, you'll be able to forward all the, uh, all the Outlook um, uh, email to the email of your choice. And, and also you can migrate all the data to, uh, to your new uh, uh, email account. Uh, so the, uh, Ben, our, te our, our IT technician is going to go over the procedure with you so that there won't be any glitches when, when it comes to, uh, when, when the, um, uh, the feature of the Outlook comes to uh, expire. So uh, with that, uh, Ben, why don't you take it away and uh, give us uh, what you have. Ben? Thank you, Peter. Okay, hi team, my name is Ben. Now I will start going through the steps. Just be patient with me and I'll do my best to get things done. So first thing first, um, I'll log into the Outlook. Then I'll show you guys how to back up the emails into one file. So let's start it over. So on your computer, we'll start looking for Outlook. And the next step is signing in with your account. So important note here. Once you sign in, you might have different prompts, meaning you have multi-factor authentication. You have to get a text message on your phone and enter that code as soon as you can. So once we sign in to Outlook, make sure you're going to uncheck this mark. Okay. Now the next Excuse step. Excuse me, done. sorry. Hello? Yes, go ahead. Are you navigating the screen or is it supposed to be still screen? Because I'm not seeing your cursor anywhere. It's just a picture. Uh, I'm navigating the screen. This is the live uh, migration right now. Okay, maybe it's my on my side because nothing is moving. Same here. I'm here, nothing's moving. I'm here. That's weird. Let me try different way.
Okay, so I can share my screen uh, because that's how it's set it up. Can we try stop recording? You want us to stop recording? Yeah, maybe that's going to change something. Okay. See, it says your screen is paused. Yeah, go ahead and stop the recording under those dots. I can't. Where's the screen at? The Zoom screen? Yeah, it's already stopped. Okay. That might make a difference. Okay. Because if you share in the middle of a recording, for some reason, it gets messed up. Okay, team, I want to start over again. And then can you start the recording as well once you get this up? See, once we start recording the screen, it will stop sharing. Oh. Okay, now we're sharing. Team, can you guys see it? It is still frozen or still a still screen. Okay. Give me a few seconds, please. Now this should do it. Team, can you guys see this? Yes, uh, we see your home screen. Okay. So let me open the Outlook again. Thank you. So you'll type in your credentials. You log into your account. As I mentioned, it might be different prompts when you sign in, it might ask you to type in your phone number and get a text message 
that's for the multi-factor authentication. Okay. So the next step is uh, once it's done, you should see connected to Microsoft Exchange. Sometimes it might take an hour or two to load up the whole thing, meaning it should download all the messages you have from the Microsoft Cloud to your Outlook application. That's really important. Once it's done, you should see connected to Microsoft Exchange. So this is my example. We're gonna go through real quick. It's not gonna take too much time. And I also made a presentation with the uh, Word document with the screenshots in there. With the steps, it's gonna guide you through the whole process. So once it's done, you see it's connected Microsoft Exchange. Everything is loaded up on my end. So I'll click file, open an expert. We want to import the all the uh, export. I'm sorry. All the emails to one file. After we get into the import and export wizard, uh, we click on export to a file. Next. This is another important step. Uh, you have to select Outlook data file PSD. Next, we'll just hide the whole thing and we select only your email. And this check mark has to be on, include subfolders and everything. We hit next. Uh, this is another step I would recommend you use. Um, you use your own path uh, where it's comfortable for you to extract the file to import it to the Outlook. So this is an example I'm going to go through right now. Wow. Please mute, mute yourself. Thank you. Ben, we cannot hear you. You have to unmute yourself. Yeah. Yes, Thank I'm you. back again. For some reason, the browsing feature, it's not working on this computer. But I would recommend you set up a place where you can access the file easily. So I'll show you on the example here. I'll enter this right there. It's not available yet. So as you see here, uh, the path for the file, it's C users, Tom Crosby, documents, and Outlook. It can be different on any places. Let me show you one example. I'll create a new file folder, I mean, and I'll name it Outlook 1. Thank you. 
this is my path right now for the file. Okay. So another important step is make sure it's check marked on allow duplicate items. We hit next. So this is optional. I would not recommend you guys create a password for the file. So you might forget it. So it's really hard to crack into it. Make sure you'll just hit OK and without any password. You should get on your emails on the Outlook a prompt, it will prompt with the copying stuff to the folder we just created here. Once I open it, you can see my file, it's created already. So the next step is we have to import the file, we just created it, which means a backup. It's an offline backup, we can open it on Outlook. So that's gonna save us a lot of time instead of like printing out the emails. I'll show you on the example again. I'll close my Outlook. And I'm going to open the Outlook again. So now <clears throat> we're on the same screen again. We'll hit again, open and expert. And this time we have to click on open Outlook data file. It is asking us the place where the file it's been stored. The location you see here, it's used by default. You can use the same place or in my case, we created a file earlier on the desktop. So I'll look for that file. This is my folder and this is my file. If I open it, it should pop up right here. As you see, Outlook data file. And this is my inbox. We can compare it with the last email I received. See the difference between the test account, I'm gonna send to myself a new email. Let me use my other computer here.
Okay, this is what I wanted to show you guys. On my inbox, you can see right now, 156 emails. I will go ahead and delete it from here on my end from different computer. The last email we can see 125, 2024. I will delete that right now. It will change it here as well right now. So it's gone. Here. So meaning the life account before it retires, make sure you will save the backup file. The first step we did right now. The last day or prior to that, make sure you have minimum up to 24 hours so you can back up all your information. It might be different case on per user because of the storage. Let's say you have a lot of files on your email. It might take some time, like at least I'm talking about like uh, two hours, three hours, depending how much storage you have on your Outlook. In that case, you'll need to wait until it's done. On the Outlook data file, the one we backed up and we imported to Outlook, the actions I took earlier, the deleted items, see all of these, it's still available on the Outlook data file. See, nothing has changed. That means it cannot be changed after you back it up. You can do any kind of modifications on your life account. Now, um, let me just hide this out. And this is the steps I made for everyone. I'm sure Michelle or Peter will share with you guys. Or I also forward to that email where you receive the Zoom meeting invitation. As you remember, the first steps, I look for the Outlook. Next, I signed in. Then make sure you confirm everything is connected. And the next step is pretty simple forward. On that email, you receive the file. You have my email. Um, if you reach out to Peter or Michelle, uh, they'll share my phone number. If you have any complication, please let me know. I can remote in and I can help you to set up the next steps. Now I'm ready for any questions. Um, Anything you have, Ben? Sure. Can you can you summarize everything in a you know written form uh, so that we we can uh, kind of follow step by step of what you have just presented? Yes. So it's already you know, on that file. It's what what file? I just emailed you guys. I'm not sure you received it or not. Oh, I, I didn't. I didn't get it yet. So is, isn't that in the file that you email it, you want me to e blast to everybody, every agent? Uh, your voice is echoing. Oh, I said, do you want me to e blast your file uh, to all the agents? Yes, please. Okay. Now you just told, told us uh, how to migrate the data. 
uh, are you going to uh, t um, teach us how to the forward? forwarding? Yeah. Yes, that's gonna forward come right should now. be should be pretty easy, right? Yeah, it's straightforward. So in this case, you'll need to sign in to Outlook on web browser. Mm -hmm. So the password for the Outlook is the same thing, same uh, same password that you used for the email, for the Outlook email? Yes, it's going to be the same credentials. Okay. So you first, you <clears throat> put you sign in onto the Outlook, and then mm -hmm. you, you go to the features uh, for forwarding, right? Correct. Okay. So once you signed in, uh, you hit the settings button. Okay mail and forwarding you just need to yeah, go through the steps if it's ask you let's go through this get the code real quick You guys might get this kind of uh, security prompt as well. Mm -hmm. Now we can enable forwarding. Let's say we have abs at gmail.com. It might be different on your end because you guys using different emails for the forwarding. Okay. Any questions you guys have for me? Yeah, it looks like the forwarding is very, very uh, simple, but the migrating of data is kind of a little complicated for me. At least yeah. <laughs> That's why I made the screenshots to make sure uh, you'll remember it. I haven't seen the, uh, your file yet, but I assume that they they have the every step with the screenshots, right? And, uh, I okay. emailed to CBGR marketing team at gmail.com. Oh, let me see. I guess I didn't have it. Maybe maybe red will uh, forward it to me. I, I didn't get it yet. Okay, let me compose a new message. I'll get it over to you, Peter. I have access to that email. Okay, all right, thank you. Okay, should I email to you guys or? Will we bless it to everybody? after the, the, the session. Actually, you know what, let me do this. <laughs> so do we have any question for Ben at this time uh, regarding forwarding as well as uh, migrating the data? Uh, this is Buddy. Hi. Hi, Buddy. I got a question for Ben. Yes, sir. 
Um, I sent an email on this. I, I've been using Outlook for the past several years now with my Yahoo e email. So I don't need to go through the process of uh, setting up another app on this one, right? For Your Outlook. voice is echoing. I don't understand. Okay. I've been using Outlook for, for the past uh, 15, 15 years now. Mm -hmm. So I don't need to uh, reset, uh, set up a new app for Outlook on this one. Do I? So since you, do you have the coldwellbanker.com email? Yeah, but I never use that. I've been using my yahoo, yahoo.com emails and it's been going to my Outlook. Yeah, that's totally fine. You're just using the different platform to sign in with that email. Yes. So you just need to find the Outlook application. I have it already on my on my system. On your browser, you mean, or yes, yes, it's I have installed it. application. Yes, the, the whole the whole thing. I've been using it. I've been using Outlook for the past fifteen years now. I understand. Let me get the question right. So the Outlook on the browser, it's different. Okay. Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome, it might be different case. If you have the Outlook application, you can look it up like this, see? Start button, you can first click on the start button and type it in Outlook. Okay. Once you confirm that you have the Outlook application, just sign in with your credentials to the Outlook application. Okay. Got it. Again, you cannot back it up your information on web browser. Mm -hmm. It has to be Outlook application. Okay. Thank you. Again, if you have any complications, let me know. Okay, will do. Ben, Ben, is, is there any app that will uh, directly uh, migrate all the data in the Outlook into uh, the new uh, email address that you selected? I mean, yes. directly, I mean, without saving a file, you know, because what you have told us, uh, and you, uh, in in that process is that you have to we have to save all the all the, uh, it, the data uh, in Outlook into a temporary file, and then from the temporary file you you export it to the uh, to the new the email. Is there an app that will directly do that instead of like you know, you know getting a I... you know, step of uh, having a, a temporary file? Your voice is echoing. I didn't understand. You don't understand. <laughs> okay. I'm saying that is that a method or an app where you can directly migrate all the data from Outlook into the new email without going into an intermediate step of uh, saving a temporary file? Let can me you call you on your phone. What? Let me call you on your phone. You call me on, on my phone? Yes, because it's echoing. I didn't understand the last part. That's interesting. Yeah, one second. Yes, Ben. Yes, ben. Hey, Peter. Yes. So what do you were saying? I am saying that, um, uh, is there any app or a way that will directly migrate all the data in Outlook email to the new email that you have selected uh, without going through a temporary file? You know what what you have just presented. In other words, uh, you know I don't want to go go uh, copy every everything in a temporary file and then from the temporary file go to another stop. In other words, I want to uh, solidify. This one step process. Is there an app that will do that for us? The only the only application is Outlook because uh, you don't pay for it. 
mm. you can sign in to the Outlook with your Gmail account as well. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you on the example here. Okay. So let me... So I deleted my live account right now. It's not available. I'll open the Outlook again. As you see my data file, mm. it's right there. So, you don't pay for the service as long as you have the Outlook application. That's it. Now I will sign in. Peter, mic your phone. No. Oh, you have my phone. Here you go. So now I can add my email. my Gmail. So now I signed in with my Gmail account. See, when I was telling you about downloading the emails to the Outlook application, mm -hmm. that's what it's supposed to show here. It's still downloading the emails. See, the number it keeps changing. Once it's done downloading, you can still use the Outlook application with your Gmail account. Any questions? I have a different question. Yes, please. So um, there's been some confusion about sending and and um, receiving emails after the send setting after transferring everything over um, so after sun setting is it any emails we receive with our coldworldbanker.com email it will be forwarded to our new email yes. and then so yeah go ahead is, finish your question okay and then um so we cannot, from our new email, we can't respond back to that email or we can't, can we now send emails to that sender through our new email and they will still receive it? Is it just, it's like a bridge now? Is there? So is when clear? you reply to that email, the one you got it from your Coldwell banker, mm -hmm. forward it to your Gmail account. Mm -hmm. the new Gmail account you created or you had an existing one. Yeah. Uh, once you reply to that email, it will show your Gmail account, not your Caldwell Banker account. I see. Okay, so any sending and receiving will just be through Gmail. Mm, However, yes. the uh, whoever sends anything to Coldwell Banker, we will still receive it and we can still reply back, but it'll be showing Gmail. Or, Correct. yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Welcome.
Feel free. Any question you have, reach out to me or ask me right now. Michelle, do you have any questions? Oh, no, I don't. Ben? Yes, sir. Can you can you uh, put the uh, uh, contact information on the chat so the people can can contact you? Phone number. Okay. Any more questions for uh, Ben? Michelle, you don't have any questions? Uh, no, I don't. Thank you. I think um, the uh, package you sent out will be very helpful. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay. If not, then uh, the training session is adjourned. And I hope you have a nice weekend. See you, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Mm-hmm.